What is more interesting is how do you actually send an email daily when it needs to run on a laptop that is not going to run 24-7. A few years ago now, I realized that I was spending way too much time on the news website. Just reading random articles. The idea was then for me to try to cut down on that. And the best solution that I could find for now was to actually just build my own mailing list where I would be the only one receiving those emails. But that would at least give me a selection of articles that would interest me and that would prevent me from wanting to actually go look for articles online. Uh, so here is an example of uh, how the email looks. I call it the text by glass, just random name. It starts with just a quote from a list of quotes that I got and then three articles that all come from Hacker News. Those are going to be the most popular articles that specific day with every time a save to pocket to actually save the, the article and read it later. And then an image at the end, it's supposed to be beautiful from Unsplash. The um, style is very reminiscent of uh, Grit or The Elevator, it's on purpose. But the interesting part is not really the email itself, uh, although if that interests you it's going to be linked in the description. What is more interesting is how do you actually send an email daily when it needs to run on a laptop that is not going to run 24-7. I don't want to have my own server that is going to handle only that. I want to have it running on my laptop and whenever I turn it on it's going to send my email for the day. The way it works is technically just a Python script and we're going to use cron to actually trigger it and send it automatically. We cannot actually ask Cron to send it every day at midnight, for example, because I have absolutely no idea if my laptop is going to be turned on at midnight. So the, sol the best solution that I could find was to actually, inside of the Python script, add a, a first test before actually sending the email with that function need to send email. And that one is simply going to use a file in which it's going to write the date in which, at which we send the last email. Whenever we start that script, we're going to look at that date written for the last email sent, the current date, subtract it, and if it's been more than a day that we send the last email, then we actually send it. So then uh, that script is going to be able to actually just trigger itself only when we need to, to send it and we can call it as many times as we want in a day. So for that we're going to use cron to actually trigger sending it. The way it works with cron is we actually ask it to send it to trigger the script every time, every hour, every time the minutes are zero in that case. That's the way it works, zero minutes and whatever hour, whatever day of the month, whatever uh, day of the week and so on. And we run our script to trigger sending and that script is going to actually decide afterwards as we just saw does it need to send the email or not and if it does it does if it does not it does not that way every time i turn on my laptop it it's going to trigger and if nothing was sent today it's going to do it if something was already sent today just not going to do anything. In the end, that simple system allowed me to actually save a lot of hours not uh, scrolling news website online and just getting my news directly into my emails and having my news fix every day. That's it. Problem solved. Uh, 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 uh,